Hello, hello. Hello, hello. How are you? Welcome. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hello. Welcome, everybody, to our English class. It's a pleasure to uh, be here with you guys and also having a great opportunity. So, how are you, Mr. Forte? How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. Uh, the last class, no? Yes, of course. It is. So, imagine the time has gone so fast. Yes, every, very fast. Very fast. You know, time is going and then December is a good time. Yeah, December is a good time now. The, the moon is beautiful. Yeah, of course. It's a great month. People love that. Okay, so let's uh, let's wait our our classmates that will join us today in the class, and also it's a good opportunity for all of us to see here and also practice. So that is something that we have to take into account. Let's see. Okay, let me check here something. Well, hi Jonathan, welcome. How are you? Hi, I'm fine. And you? <laughs> oh, good. Thanks for asking. I mean, I'm actually great. Um, you know, trying to 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 do my best, and also ready to you know practice and maximize our English skills. <laughs> yeah, it's good because you know you can see that um, that I'm here helping you with this process. But we always learn. We follow a process, and also we improve. We practice and we really enjoy what we are doing. In my case, I can tell you that I'm teaching here with you guys, but at the same time, I learn. I learn from you. I learn from the context, so we don't have to stop uh, practicing because it's very valuable. As I told you, have uh, many years working with English, but we always learn. We don't stop learning. Okay, so before that we start, I just want to ask you what we started yesterday. ¿Qué estudiamos? What do you remember? Uh, yesterday uh, we are hicimos uh, un repaso de quantifier, uh, read the the uh, the email, uh, writing an email, and uh, read the. Um, Article for the cold read. Okay, that's that's great. We uh, talk about our family too. Our, our family. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. What else? What else? What else? What else? What else we study? ¿Qué más estudiamos? Yes, yes. I remember uh, the most was quantifier. Much, money, any, little, lot of love, few. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. So that is something interesting about this process. So we will continue working with some exercises in general, but the main purpose is to practice actively. And also we will feel, you know, very comfortable with that, right? So let me show you here in my presentations for this class. And one of the things that we will take into account is to, and, you know, practice with the language. So just give me one second. Meanwhile, I will share with you right now the, one second, uh, the presentation for this class today. We will be working about the changing family. So this is the topic for this conference. And also we have uh, some exercises with the listening. So I have a question to ask you. Do you, do you watch, uh, for example, do you watch TV in English? Yes. What, yes, do, you, what do you watch? I'm a little curious. Tell me, what do you watch? Uh, in my case, I I watch news. Um, <clears throat> I listen music and I watch movies. Um, I try to to 
to see uh, the most the most uh, I I can I can help me. Okay. In my case, I I watch uh, TV series and change the idiom to English and subtitles. No sé cómo se dice. Este... Uh, subtitles. Uh, <laughs> eso. Eh, también los pongo eh, eh, en inglés. Okay, so that is uh, something important, right? And well, so definitely that it's a good way, you know, to to communicate in English. I don't know if you have the opportunity to speak or to to have contact with English speakers native speakers or latin american english speakers i don't know do you have uh, access to speak with people in english yes yes i yeah yes i i have i don't know the mormones the mormons <laughs> but yeah they are uh, happy to talk uh, con nosotros <laughs> <laughs> yeah. In English, to talk to with the Mormon? Uh, yeah, in English. Uh, you just spoke in English with the Mormons community. All right. With. In my case, I, I listen to these podcasts to learning English too, uh, in, in Spotify. So good. Okay, someone else that would like to share, you know, your experience about that, or at least listening on um, all series or programs. I don't know. Nobody else. Sorry, I, I don't hear the question. Um, some other students who have had this experience to to practice with other people or at least watch TV in English. Yes, yes. In my case, I know uh, a person Canadian. Uh, Sometimes he he speak English with me. Um, is 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 some difficult and other another friends they they talk uh, english too oh they speak english yes speak english yes oh, yes okay the, yeah that's that's great and it is definitely you know a good opportunity you know to communicate and also to be in contact as as an english speaker i can tell you that and uh, we have to look for like the ways to to communicate because when we listen, when we listen actively, uh, conversations, we feel more confident, and that's one of the ways. Hoy tenemos dos ejercicios de estos. Les voy a compartir el primero. I will share the first uh, conversation. So we have uh, conversations about uh, changing families. And for this one, we have uh, the first link. I want you to check your chat here in the in this meet chat i'm showing you this link you will click on it and you will try to listen a conversation what i want you to do is to respond the following questions look at the first one where does this news program take place that is the first questions that you will try to identify in the conversation number two girl elizabeth celebrate this holiday with her family is that true? Is false? Is real or not? So you will identify this answer in this conversation. Number three, what does Johnny and his family eat on this day? So they mention a specific type of food. So you will try to identify what they eat in this holiday. Number four, Stephen feels that Christmas is a time when people what? 
it well Stephen mentions some details about this Christmas time so he explains about that she will try to listen carefully in the and the last one is the final girl says that the best things about Christmas is, so you have to listen and also respond with that. So I will give you some minutes to listen and also you will help me to respond to these questions. Okay? Okay. Do you see the link? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Let's go. Let's start with the first one. Hello, this is Charles Richards from Channel 7 News, and we're down here at the uh, City Mall.
almost ready, students, or not yet? Almost ready? Yes. Yes. Okay. So, I, all right. So that's great. I just want to ask you a little bit about the oh the microphone, Brian. Microphone. Thanks. Thank you. I just want to ask you about you know. The conversation was easy or difficult. This conversation, tell me. It sounds difficult because the um, is is very very fast the conversation. Uh, it, it's difficult. The children. Mm, yes, children talk. Speak. Rar rar <laughs> rarely, rarely. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, so this is um, one of the advantages about practicing with this English because um, we had to be familiar with the with the accent, we had to be familiar with the pronunciation, the vocabulary that can help us to you know maximize your English skills. But we go, um, but we go with that. Um, that is something important. Okay, so let's go with that part. All right. So, in um, where does the news program take place? Who wants to help me to respond this part here? The shopping center, city mall. At the shopping center. At the shopping, at the shopping center. Okay, um, that's good, right? And the next one is, girl, Elizabeth celebrate um, this holiday with her family. What do you remember for that part? Tell me, tell me that. They visit close relatives. They visited some relatives, relatives. Yeah. Okay. Grandfathers, I listened to say the grandfathers. Oh, grandparents. Grandparents. Okay, grandparents. grandparents. Oh, okay, grandparents. Oh, definitely that. Yeah, they were like visiting. Um, do you visit your grandparents? We're talking nowadays about what we what we do during the you know during the week or weekend. Do you visit grandparents? Some no? Sundays. Relative. Okay, some relatives. That does okay. So we always when we take some time, we can uh, visit all of them. Definitely, that's great. Okay, question number three here. Um, what does uh, Johnny? And his family eat on this date. So tell me about it. Turkey. 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 Do you think this kind of food is great for this type of celebrations? Yeah, I like the turkey. Do, do you? Yeah, I, mean, I like it. It's, it's, much, it's much better than chicken for Christmas. It's the kind of the food in, in, in this, in this uh, month. People loved it. So, so that's mean that the turkey is ready for your dinner. Yes. In Christmas. Yes. That's cool. All right. Steve feels that Christmas is a time when people. What do you get from that part? Yes. Number four, Steve feels that Christmas is a time when people. So what do you get from that point? Yeah, I I understood the how he they they give secret secret given secret uh, I don't know uh, gift secret gift I don't know I don't understand very well. If that's what you could understand about this point. Uh, somebody else that could get some ideas about this from four. Um, nobody get that. In my case, I see I uh, I listen the the students say the uh, gift sacred gift. Uh, I understand this. Point. The regalos. Yeah, that, that's right. That's one of the things that, that was mentioned in the conversations. So like they give gifts. Most of the time, it's like kind of traditions for that part. 
And the last one is the final girl says that the best things about Christmas is, what do you get from the last question? Having a vacation from the school. Okay. Having vacations from school. Yeah. Okay, that's okay. Thank you so much for that. So that was like one of the parts of the conversation. We'll listen to the second one. And also I will share right here the, the link right now. So. Okay, so ready for the second conversation? Are you ready? The second one is talking about easy home stay. So we're talking about home, some stuff for most of the time we do at home. So staying with family, people around. So that's really great. So we had to listen carefully the following conversations. One of the things that we had to do is this one. We had to respond to the following questions. And we have the first one. James wants to leave with the homestay family because he can. So we had to listen carefully and try to identify the, the possible answers about this. We listen carefully and check this. Number two. What, what, what's the mean homestay? Um, it's when people prefer staying home. It's when you dedicate time for staying home. So that is the, one of the things. Um, look at that one. Home state. And also, it's you, for example, I'm telling you, what do you prefer, going to Qatar to watch a soccer game or stay home? No, okay. <laughs> go into Qatar. Stay home. So, okay. Oh, you stay, stay home. So. No, no, Qatar. Uh, stay <laughs> home is uh, home stay is uh, stay home. Home stay is stay home. Yeah, it, it's 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 a, it's a vacations or other period abroad spent staying in the home uh, of yeah, the okay. local family. Um, one example is like my three week home stay in southern Japan. So, so you travel a vacations or other period abroad spend the same in the home okay. of a local family. Um, es decir, que James quiere vivir uh -huh. con una familia y se va a quedar en esa casa de esa familia. Homestay. Entonces es como quedarse en casa específicamente. Yes, yes, yes. Right. Okay. okay. Oh, question number two. How many children does the homestay family have? Number three is the family has some cats, dogs, a snake. And A, so you had to listen carefully about this part. Number four, what is Randall like? His personality. You will focus about his questions and check the possible answer. And the last one is that Randall is a slept on the couch because he... One second. Okay, let me check the link. Let me give you the link right now. Hey, are you watching the game, the Qatar games, the, the World Cup? Yes. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's good. It's good tomorrow. Hmm. Yeah. It's a better life. <laughs> of course, so tomorrow I won't go. I will, I will stay home because I want to watch the games. I'm going to be honest. Yes. I'm on vacation, so we'll take a time for that. You know, Brazil is playing, so I need to watch that. Okay, I'm sharing right now the link, and I will give you some minutes to try to, you know, listen carefully and also help me to respond to questions. So let's go. Iniciamos.
Okay, ready? Yes? No? Tell me. Are you ready? Yes. 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 All right, so that's okay. So what about this conversation? Could you understand uh, the way how they were talking? Was it easier or difficult, you know, to understand uh, people in this conversation? Yeah, it's difficult, but I understand um, 50%. <laughs> that's okay. That's, that's one of the goals, right? Uh, try to understand. Uh, I mean, no matter if you understand 100% or less than that, but we go step by step on the process on that, that I can say that, especially in this intermediate English level, you will be more familiar with English speakers. And um, we have to be very patient, learn vocabulary and also expressions. It's very normal for that. I, I'm pretty sure that when you go on to the next levels and after practicing, uh, this conversation will be pretty easy for you and it will be understandable, it will be pretty, very easy. Okay, so help me to answer these questions here. The first one is the James wants to live with a homestay family because he can. He can learn the English learn and the culture. Learn more of the language. No. So they need to like, you know, learn the language to practice. Oh, okay. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Right. The language, right? So in that case, imagine you travel to Canada or United States, you know, you will go thinking about learning English. So that would be a good. But also you can, you know, study French too, especially in Canada. Question number two, how many children does uh, the homestay family have? Thirteen. Thirteen. They have 13 kids. 13 kids? Yes. Yeah. Yes. So 13 kids. Thank you. A big house. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we go with the next question here. Um, what is um, the family has some cats, dogs, and a snake, and a, what? And a rabbit. 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 Imagine having a snake as a pet. A long snake, say. Do do you like do you like snakes as pets? No, no, I I don't like. <laughs> no, neither do I. So he knows. No, a pet. Uh, I mean, a snake shouldn't be a pet. What about cats? Uh, do you like cats? Yes, I have yeah. one. Not like. Yeah, um, you don't like it. You don't like you don't like cats. Oh my god. <laughs> Mucho pelo. <laughs> no. Skinny. Yeah, I, I love cats, but I don't have a cat, but I would like to have one cat. The thing is that I have a big dog, and my dog doesn't like cats. So that's the reasons why I don't have cats. But I love cats. In my case, same. I have dogs. Um they don't like cats. Only like cats. <laughs> they are like enemies or something like that. They don't. They don't. <laughs> they don't get along each other. That's so bad for them. Okay. Um. Number four. What is Randall like, and what about his personalities? Well, you can tell me about this. I understand is a uh, uh, trembling. Okay. What else? He's outgoing and friendly. Mm -hmm. What's the meaning of outgoing in Spanish, please? I'm, I'm sorry, what's the question? Uh, can you to say me what's the meaning of outgoing? This Out word, what's the meaning in, in Spanish? Ah, you're saying outgoing. 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 <laughs> outgoing is a yeah, outgoing is like a person. Um, it's a friendly and socially confident. Um, es como en español es como extrovertido. That's uh, outgoing. Ah, extrovertido. Mm -hmm. Gracias. Yeah, okay. Okay, what else? ¿Qué más? Okay. 
he liked the video games. Okay, so look at that. Well, there is a, a dog. A dog has a pet. Por ahí suena un perrito. Esmeralda, Esmeralda creo que tiene su, no sé, micrófono. Oh, thanks. Thanks. All right. Okay, let's see here the next one. Um, Randall is slept on the couch because he, what do you get from that? He played video game or at, for the, uh, at, uh, at 4 a.m. Play video games. Oh, play video games. Oh, my God. Sleep on the couch because he was playing playing video games. You know, I know some people that they spend a lot of time playing video games, and they go to bed late because they play video games. Do you like video games? Nanny. Uh, Carla. Yes, I like. Oh, you like, and also Carla. I... Carla likes play the games too. Yeah, no. I, I I play game, but it's no. So much. No. Ah, okay. Okay. No. Not so much for that. All right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thanks so much. Okay. Uh, well, it was good with the exercise that we have developed here in this class. So we will go on to the next exercise, and um, we have a com. We have a reading, an article that we have to read. Read the following article, and uh, also we had to read the article carefully, and we had to answer some questions about this article. We had to select true or false. So for this, um, uh, we will do something here. Vamos a hacer algo en este momento. Um, eh, okay, so um, vamos a leer este artículo. Lo voy a leer yo. Y luego usted quiero que se enfoque en la pronunciación y en el vocabulario. Porque luego usted lo va a leer y va a tratar de responder las preguntas. Mientras usted lo lee por segunda vez, vamos a pasar la asistencia. Ya que es requerida para este proceso con esa forma. Así que leamos el artículo. Are you ready? Yes. Let's go. Yes. Yes, I am. Yes. Okay, let's go. Thank you so much, guys. Well, June 21st on 22nd is the summer solstice for the northern hemisphere. Solstice is Latin, Latin means sun standing still. On that day, it seems like the sun is standing still because there is more daylight than on any other day. It is the first day of the summer and a special day for many groups of people. Many ancient cultures had ceremonies in solstice. They celebrated light and fire. Many people also thought it was a time for love and growth. Nowadays, many places around the world have parades or parties. The great English writer William Shakespeare said, whatever you dream on this line will come to pass. Have Great dreams on June 21st, and if you are in the Northern Hemisphere, enjoy the longest day of the year. Summer solstice is on December 21st or 22nd in the Southern Hemisphere. June 21st or 22nd is the Southern Hemisphere winter solstice. In his plate, uh, Midsummer Night's Dream. Bien, uh, vamos, a, vamos a leer el artículo. Y luego usted va a tratar de responder las preguntas con verdadero o falso, de acuerdo como las tenemos acá. So, mientras ustedes trabajan en esta lectura, vamos a pasar la asistencia. Ok, one second. Thank you.
Muy bien. Bueno, escucho su nombre y me dice presente. ¿Ok? Um, Adriana Gretel González. Present. Uh, Agustín Alexander Santa María. Agustín Alexander. Andrea Esmeralda Álvarez Escobar. Present. Araceli Esmeralda Ventura Vázquez. Present, teacher. Yes. Carmen Andrea Santos Martínez. Claudia Jocelyn Rivas Arevalo. Present. Este, buenas noches, profesor. Este... No me funcionaba el táctil en ese momento. Aquí estoy. Eh, ¿Su nombre? ¿Su, ¿Su nombre? Soy Carmen Andrea Santos. Ah, Santos Martínez. Ok, gracias. Gracias, gracias. Bueno. Ok, seguimos. Um, Denis Alonso Marinero Gutiérrez. Francisco Alexander Villafuerte Flores. Presentito. Eh, Francisco Javier Orellana Ortiz. ¿Se encuentra acá? Veamos. Eh, Freddy José Álvarez Escobar. Eh, Gabriela Guadalupe Zamora España. ¿Se encuentra por acá? No se encuentra por acá. Gabriela María Peñalón. Eh, Gerson Vinicio Moreno Funes. Present. Uh, Gerson. Yes. Ok, thank you. Um, Glendy Elisen Flores Ramírez. Present. Jennifer Raquel Ayala Vázquez. Present. Eh, Jonathan Vladimir Salinas Alberto. Present. Eh, Carla Liliana Portillo Constante. Carla Liliana, ¿se encuentra? No está. Eh, micrófonos, micrófonos ahí. Eh, Carla Tatiana Villanueva Serrano. Presente. Carla. Presente. Catherine eh, Yasmín Guatemala Arias, ¿se encuentra por acá? ¿Se encuentra? Yes, present. Luisa, yes, Ariana, Luisa Ariana Guerra. Present. Uh, Margarita Elizabeth. Present. Uh, Mayra Patricia Pérez, ¿se encuentra por acá? Present. Eh, Nerlin Jaciel Flores Reyes. Present, teacher. Eh, Noé Alberto Calzadí Herrera, ¿se encuentra? Sí, presente. Gracias. Wendy Patricia Chavarría Ayala. Wendy Patricia. Ok, so all of us.
Okay, um, are you ready or not yet? I'm ready. Okay, somebody else? Yes. I'm ready. Ready yes. to. You. Perfect. So we go straight to the answers here and the conversations we had. Okay, so we got the first one. And solstice means that it took like the sun doesn't move. What do you think? Face. It's false. true. False. It's true. No, true. It's true. That's right. So in that case, the answer is true. That's what people understand about a saltist. Okay, volunteer for the number two. False. 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 To me, it's true. Is, uh, uh, um, solstice for uh, July 21. Is in June, not June, in July? June 21 or 22. So that's me that is false, right? Okay, so in that case, it's like not on July 21st. So that it's in the winter. Case. Summer. The winter solstice. Okay, okay yeah. And the number three, ma many ancient people celebrated some solstice with fire. Mm, what is it? Yeah, it's true. It's true. It's true. That's true. That's right. So look how interesting is this one. So the answer, that obviously, it's going to be um, true. <laughs> For nowadays, no one celebrates solstice. It's false. 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 Um, so in that case, the number four is false. That's right. So no one nowadays no one celebrates solstice. They celebrate it depending where they are and also because of the culture. And the last one, Shakespeare said, "Whatever you dream about on June twenty first will it happen. happen." It's true. 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 It's true. Hey, it's interesting, right? Do you agree yeah. with Shakespeare? Mm, no, never. <laughs> okay, no, no, but I see the movie. Oh, you saw the movie? Cool. That's nice. Good, yeah, it's nice. It's nice. Okay, so we have uh, a couple of minutes to read this article. So I'm just going to to make this uh, part B. Check this one, read the title of the article, and then check the questions. I think the article will answer. American families are changing. One important change is that most married women now work outside the home. What happens when both parents work? Read about the Morales, Morales family. So it's like Morales and Morales. Uh, Jill, Judy and Steve Morales have three children, Josh, 12, then nine and Emily six. Steve is a computer programmer. This year, Judy is working again as a hospital administrator. The family needs the money and Judy likes her job. Everything is going well, but there are also some problems. Veamos de qué se trata. Now that Judy is working, Steve has to help her more with the housework and he doesn't enjoy it. O sea, que ya no le gustó mucho, right? <laughs> le está oh. haciendo cosas de la casa. Ya, ya, no, ya no lo está disfrutando, no? He doesn't enjoy that. Judy loves her work, but she feels too tired and busy. She also worries about the children. Judy has to work on Saturdays. So Steve and Judy don't have a lot of free time together. Emily is having a great time in her after school program. When Judy comes to pick her up, she doesn't want to leave. Por suerte. <laughs> Unfortunately, Vance's school doesn't have an after school program. Right now, he is spending most afternoons in front of the TV, television. Josh is enjoying his new freedom after school, 
He is playing his music louder and is spending more time on the phone. He is also doing a few household chores. Oh, look at the situation about the Morales family because parents work all the time. Los papás trabajan todo el tiempo, pues que ellos no, no tienen como el quien los cuide, right? So we can see the, the situation. This is like in El Salvador, right? Parents work and children, like nobody take care of them. They do what they want or they are not uh, being protected, but because, I mean, or monitor because the parents are working all the time. Entonces vemos ahí la situación de la familia Morales. And you will help me to respond to these questions. Vamos a ver, dice, read the article, then answer these questions, and write the names of the family members. Which children are benefiting from duty working? Dice, ¿cuáles niños están siendo beneficiados por el trabajo de Judy? Veamos según el artículo. Emily. Oh, children. <coughs> Emily. Emily. Emily and Josh. Um, Emily. Uh -huh, okay. Emily George, is no having more. a great time uh, uh, yes. in her after school program. When Judy comes to pick her up, she doesn't want to leave. Hasta que quiere quedar ahí, imagines. Yes. <laughs> That's good. Okay, um, the next one. Which child is not benefiting from the Judy's working? ¿Cuál de los chicos no se beneficia? Ben. 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 Yeah, he spends watching TV at home. Mm -hmm. mm, that, that's a problem, right? It depends because Ben is, is happy. <laughs> yeah, he's happy. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> Watching TV. Uh, which family member is enjoying more freedom? ¿Cuál miembro de la familia está disfrutando más, teniendo más libertad? Josh. Josh. Josh, right? Yes, he has is his new freedom. After exclusively playing his music and louder and spending more time on the phone. And number four, uh, which family members are doing more housework? ¿Cuáles eh, miembros de la familia están haciendo más trabajo en casa? Steve, Steve and George. Steve, Steve and George. Mm -hmm. Steven, right? Por eso dice que he doesn't enjoy it. Ya que ya no, ya no le está gustando esto, ya. Mm -hmm. It's the worst. Imagine, look at that. It's a problem. And which family member feels too busy? Judy. 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 Okay. Uh, who do you think is working more in, in the family? Julie. Julie. Mm -hmm. Julie. Yeah. Okay. So if you had to select uh, um, compare with one of the members, who would you choose? If you have to compare with one of the members? Emily. <laughs> Emily is, is... So you compare with Emily? Uh, yeah. Uh, Emily is the more... Uh, uh, or less... Uh, traviesa, I don't know what to say. Tremenda, I don't know. Is 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 más is more quiet. Okay, for example, in English, when we're saying that uh, there are different uh, different words, right? Is people say like naughty to say traviesa. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so someone else would you like to compare? Carla, Carla Tiana, if you had to compare it with one of the members in the family? With Ben. With? With Ben. <laughs> okay, watching TV, nice. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm prefer finger. Ben. <laughs> I don't have children. Oh, I yeah. stay in my home, in my house. Oh, that's cool yeah definitely in my case because i'm on vacations because i finish my my work i'm on vacation so i will be like ben too okay. but i don't like this situation i know 
I know. No, no. But we hope someday it will change for better. You will yes. have something better, definitely. And I have a, I have a question. Yes. Uh, uh, refer to the word spending. Spending is the same wasting? No, no, it's different. No. Uh, wasting is different. When, when you... Uh, uh, the, there are different contexts, but... Oh, no, no, uh, no, sorry. The wasting is the same lost or losting. Waste, waste and lost. Wasting. Uh, porque yo sé que wasting, well, losting es como que yo digo, I don't, I don't have lost in my time, pero I don't, I don't wasting my time. It, 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 it's, it's the same. Oh, you say the word waste. Like the ones that I'm trying. Uh -huh, uh -huh, waste. Ah, right. wait. The pronunciation is wasting. Yeah, wasting is wasting. like when you do something or you waste your time. The time is uh -huh. not taken in um, a, we could say in English, in a positive way, right? So in a positive way. So we are not taking. It's we say como desperdiciando, gastando, mm -hmm. desperdiciando, yes. in not a positive way. In the case, the banks. Spending. Say, spending. Spending, ahí es diferente. Porque es, spending es como pasar el rato, pasar el tiempo. That's different in the context. Mm -hmm. Ok. Pero cuando yo lo menciono como wasting, entonces estoy diciendo que él está perdiendo, desperdiciando su tiempo. Desperdiciando. Uh -huh. Sí, sí. That's the meaning uh -huh. of wasting. Think. Yeah, that's right. So, you know, you can see here from the vocabulary, you know, practice the vocabulary so that can help you. Okay, students, so I think we have uh, finished this, uh, this level. So I just want to congratulate you for the work done. And also I want to encourage you to continue working hard and don't, don't stop. Keep uh, working English, practice and maximize your English skills. And we finished the class today and have a beautiful night to all of you. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Every team. Thank you. Bye. 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 Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Year. Yes. Year. See you the next year. Yeah, see you next year. Bye. Bye.